In this lesson, we're going to have an overview of the function of the kidney. So it's important to understand that you have two kidneys that are located in your lower back. They're located behind the abdominal cavity, hence we call it retroperitoneal. Retro meaning behind and peritoneum being the abdominal cavity. Now, as you can see, the right kidney is slightly lower than the left kidney, and that's due to the liver being on the right side. The main thing we need to understand is the kidneys are very critical in the filtration of blood. For this reason, they receive the greatest volume of blood per gram out of any organ in the human body. Great, let's have a zoom into the kidney and understand its different structural components. So we have an outer section, an inner section, and then a collecting duct. The outer section of the kidney is called the renal cortex. Renal meaning kidney, and cortex being the outer location. Then you can see these dark, darker pyramidal regions. This is called the renal medulla. And the renal medulla will collect all the waste products of the blood. The waste products will then travel down this collecting system and collect in this common space here. This is known as the renal pelvis. This is different to your hip pelvis. It's important to note that. At this region, we call the waste products and their water collectively as urine. This mixture of waste products and water will then travel down these ureters, this is the ureter, into the bladder, where the urine will be stored for later release. So in your exams, you definitely can be asked to draw the structure of the kidney. So let's vaguely understand what we are going to do for that. So we'll start off by drawing this kidney bean shape. You will also have to note the collecting duct system, as we have done here. As we just said, we have an outer and an inner region to the kidney, as shown here. The outer region is known as the renal cortex. The inner region, which has this pyramidal-like configuration, is known as the renal medulla which I'm labeling here. As you recall, the renal medulla will transport the waste products of blood into a common collecting duct. This is called the renal pelvis. This urine is then transported down a tube known as the ureter, where it will connect to the bladder before moving out through the urethra. It's also important to note, even outside of the renal cortex, we have this translucent fibrous capsule. We call it the renal capsule. It's also important to note, as we said earlier, that the kidneys have a very rich blood supply, which I'm just gonna note here, with a renal artery coming into the kidney. An even more common exam question that tends to come up is a connection between the nephron which is the functional unit of the kidney and the kidney itself. We're going to explore the nephron later in this module, but it's important to note that the general structure of the nephron is as this.
We have many millions of nephrons in the kidney, and they all function as individual filtering units. As you can see, the loops of the nephron, shown here, fall into the medulla. The outer component of the nephron remains in the renal cortex. We're now going to go into the function of the kidney. The kidney has a lot of functions, but the main one they look for in exams is the filtration of blood. Other roles involve water balance, electrolyte balance, so that's the balance of salts like sodium and potassium, acid-base balance. So recall from science that acids contain hydrogen ions. So in addition to the normal electrolytes, we also balance the hydrogen ions in the bloodstream. And this way, the kidney is very important in the homeostatic regulation of blood with a pH of approximately 7.35 to 7.4 at all times. Interestingly, the kidney also releases certain hormones and is involved in the activation of others. It releases hormones that are involved in blood pressure control. They also release hormones involved in regulation of blood oxygen. So the hormone erythropoietin is very important in stimulating red blood cell production from the bone marrow. Vitamin D which is produced from the action of UV rays on cholesterol molecules in your skin is further activated in the kidneys and is important for bone deposition in the body. The hormone kidneys release for blood pressure control is renin. As we said earlier, the functioning unit of the kidney, this individual filtering unit, the nephron, is positioned as such with the loop of Henle, that is the name of this structure, the loop of Henle, dipping into the medulla, and the remaining tubules residing in the cortex. And that concludes overview of the kidney.